So, here we are. We went and picked the gooseberry. The gooseberry, the grouseberry. And, uh, ugh, here we go again with the crooked eye camera. But as you can see, this is the fruits of our labor. As painful as they are, ew. Yeah, that's from raspberries and uh, sumac berries. Sumac berries are really cool. But yeah, these are pretty sticky. But uh, yeah, here's the uh, roseberry, gooseberry, grouseberry. In my opinion, like I said, I ate a couple of these and I wasn't impressed. I'm going to call them the gross berries. But uh, yeah, you can eat them. They remotely look like a grape. A cherry, a small cherry. I don't see what the big deal is. Let's eat a dark one. It tastes like a plum. Yeah, it's like a little miniature plum that didn't quite make it to the big leagues. See? That's about how big it is. Let me get all up in your grill. And, uh, yeah, it tastes exactly like a plum. It has the same texture. If you've ever had a plum. This is how I originally spotted them. They have these stripes through the inside of them. The better ones, the better tasting ones, grow middle to the bottom, underneath the actual shade of the tree. Uh, it's a scrub type plant, like I said. You know, that means it's more like low-lying brush. It's just a big thicket of mess. Most of the plants it hangs out with are, you know, raspberries, mesquite trees, all those other fire weeds that have, like, you know, hairs, but they really hurt when they hit you. All those other really, really, you know, just high stimulated wild plants that I call them. I mean, they're just, yeah, they, the painful stuff, okay? So if you want to get these, you're going to have to go through some pain. And like I said, the pleasure, the reward to me just really wasn't worth it. I'd rather do the raspberries, to be quite honest with you. So, that's pretty much my review of the uh, grouseberry, gooseberry, gooseberry, grossberry, roseberry. I mean, I don't know if that's the same thing. But they're just not very palatable. And the plant's not really friendly. But it is, you know, like I said, it reminds me of a rose bush of sorts. But anyway, with that... Yeah, a ripe one tastes like a plum. Yeah, so the other ones don't taste that good. But like I said, the better ones are at the bottom. So with that, I'm Glenn Monroe, the Roman gnome. And uh, yeah, you've been watching, uh, I guess this is the wild crafting of the Ozarks. Yeah, that's a plum. That's a plummy taste, but not a sweet one like you get at the, you know, like you get at the market or you grow at your house. I don't know what they see in that. But anyhow, thanks for sticking around. Eww. Raspberry juice. But thanks for sticking around and watching. And uh, like I said, I hope you learned something. I did. Yeah. Anyhow, take care. Have a great day. Okay. Well, here we go. Yeah, mind my hands course get the flies off of me right here as you can see this is the uh, gross berry I call it the rose berry because really it looks like a rose bush of some sort because it has thorns on it and eh, it's painful it usually produces one to two fruits I got photos of it on each little stem or vignette is what I call it this is what they look like in mass I've got some over here of course they look like marbles to me shiny they actually look like shiny marbles is really what they look like. They have a gloss coat on it. Like a grape or a cherry. But when you taste them, they taste like grass or gross. Or gross. That's why I call them a gross berry. There's a fly about to get killed. Get off of me! Anyhow. And so you seen what we did. We also opted to pick the, uh, <laughs> the raspberries. Which on the second harvest, from the same batch from last week, which we did, they were more firm and they didn't bleed like this so the second ones weren't as sweet as the ones because the temperatures also changed and became hotter so I guess that has something to do with you know the state of the the berry itself as it grows so 
Anyhow, at second and third harvest, yeah, expect this <laughs> if you're picking them by hand. But yeah, here we go. I ate a couple of these. I didn't find them very palatable. Mm, you know, it, to me, it wasn't really worth the trouble because it was a, it's a kind of a scrubby little plant. Is what we call it where I live in Texas. We call it uh, or from here, I call it scrub. It's like really like low-lying bushes and a lot of just a bunch of tangled mess is what it usually grows in that I found out so far. Maybe not everywhere, but here, you know, in the Ozark area, yeah, it grows like a just, yeah. It wasn't fun to pick at all. I didn't enjoy that. I'd rather pick raspberries. And this is what we got. For all that trouble, I mean, I don't even know if this is enough to make a pie. You know, somebody asked me, this is a round portion, you know, I'm like, uh, that might make a pie for somebody or something. And I, you know, I'm sure it doesn't even taste worth the, it's not even worth the trouble to me. Because the taste doesn't float my boat. I'm like, man, you shouldn't stick with the raspberries. But this is the grossberry. They call them gooseberries here where I'm from, or excuse me, the people that I met, they call them gooseberries or from the south. Maybe up north they call them that, but, uh. Where I'm from, they call them the grouseberry, and I'm thinking that's more or less roseberry or grossberry or the actual bird, because they said goose and grouse, so that might be something to do with that, but in my opinion, it was gross, okay? <laughs> Painful, not fun, didn't produce a lot of fruit, you know, nothing really, you know, that's enough to probably take home, but, eh, the plant dies and looks like an old mesquite tree that just didn't quite make it. So there's old scrub there from the year previous, so you can look if it's a second or a third year growth. And I'm like, yeah, it looks like it's a you know rough, rugged plant that you know produces fruit, but not really. Kind of leave me alone, basically. But anyhow, I thought I'd go ahead and show you what we, the take home that we got. <sighs> you know, so yeah, that might be enough for a pie. Maybe. <laughs> You know, for the people that enjoy the flavor of that, I, you know, eh, whatever.